beautiful people welcome to one piece tv so today are y'all zoomed in or am i bugging oh no wait yeah y'all were zoomed in. i knew i wasn't tripping okay so how do y'all feel about the bangs is it giving i feel like caesar right now how do you say her name but today we are we just got through filming this video i feel like i always say that but we just got through filming the dedicated sponsorship for this video which this wig ate the fuck down i'm just saying but we're finna go by the leasing office of my old apartment and make sure i don't have any packages i want to check the mail make sure i don't have any packages there and then we are going to go to we're going to go to um the grocery store to grab some stuff for dinner okay on amazon we ordered a freaking ignore that noise i'm sorry on amazon we ordered a freaking sushi maker and like a taco stand so the meals are about to give y'all ask for more cooking y'all ask i deliver okay but let's go get these packages and then let's run by the grocery store because i'm running low on a few things that i feel like i eat with like a lot of my meals so it is march 7th so it's tuesday march 7th let's get to it someone mentioned wanted me to do a playlist vlog and i don't know if they meant like playlist as in like right now when i'm vibing or like playlist as in like when i'm at work and i like what i like to dance to because the way they asked it it wasn't really very clear so i don't really know what they meant by that but just to answer that question let me know what you meant by it if you're watching this in the comments like did you mean like what i like to dance to or did you mean like what i listen to when i'm not at work let me know I thought about it because I'm just to play some music right now. But let me know when I got y'all, okay? Are you on your way? Are you coming? 
coming soon to me No parking in the bay So I'ma send an Uber to your place It's my secret safe Safe with just you and me We can leave a trace This is my favorite new state Oh, look in my eyes Can you find the light? Do you feel like Look in my eyes Do you find the light? Do you feel the light? Look in my eyes We were going from But you're still As you guys see, we made egg rolls last night. They were good as fuck. The only thing I would probably change is next time I would chop up the spinach so that 
it's more spinach throughout each bite and then i would add mozzarella cheese instead of the fiesta blend and then i would add maybe a little bit more salmon i was taking it easy because it was my first time making it but it was super easy those egg roll wraps were gluten-free and they were vegan so obviously the egg roll itself wasn't vegan but i feel like the wrap was a little bit healthier than the traditional egg roll you know what i mean but that was super easy, especially if you have like some leftover meat in the fridge and you have like some extra vegetables and some cheese you wanna throw in there. The egg roll is super easy, super quick. I would consider that like a 20, 30 minute meal. It could have been way quicker, but I was vlogging it and then my first time making it. So I was like super cautious and I was trying to make like three different things at once. But the egg rolls are for sure a little 20 minute quick meal or snack. I really enjoy it. If you guys try it, then make sure you let me know. As far as our packages, I'm gonna open some packages with y'all real quick. I only have three. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oh shit. This is just, I'm trying some lace glue remover. As you guys see in the last vlog, y'all be asking me how I take my wigs off. I literally ripped them off because I'm bald headed, so I don't care if I rip the hair out. I just feel like it'll grow back. It's like, me and hair, we don't have that, um, I don't have an unhealthy attachment to my hair. It is what it is. I will pull it out. I will cut it off. It doesn't really matter for me. Um, but this is cute. I ordered this lace glue, lace glue remover from Box Grand Lux. And she sent this cute little thing over. But it's you take a selfie, you get 10% off. So that's cool. But here's the size of the remover. I'm going to use this today because I actually have some uh, another wig video to film. So if you see like three wigs in this video, in this vlog this week, um, just know your girl is in her bag and I'm trying to get all my shit done before I move. That's all. I don't have multiple personalities or do I? I don't know. I'm just trying to get my wigs fucking done before I move so that I can move in peace and not have people emailing me like, honey, dear, when will the video be done, dear? I don't want that. So I want to get their shit done on time. So yeah, if you see a few different wigs in this video, just ignore it, okay? I can't even open this shit, y'all. Okay, here's the remover. So if you wanna see how good this is, then go click on my hair playlist and watch a few of the most recent ones because this I'm gonna use this one just today, so. And then we have an Amazon package. Oh, that is a jacket. And then we have, what is this? Oh, a wig. Yeah, you guys are gonna see a lot of a wigs, okay, in this video. So anyways, I'm about to prepare to film a wig video and then I'll come back to y'all this evening looking like a new bitch, okay? I want to get into some self-care and some editing and some relaxing today. Those are the vibes. I might um, either go to Dollar Tree or make like an Instacart order because I need a few things that I'm running out of. But other than that, yeah, I'll be back. We're going to vibe out today, y'all. As y'all can see, we got a lot of shit. So let's do a quick little haul. So what we got, we got some, let me know if you guys have ever gotten any of this stuff that I got, cause I wanna know how it is. Some of this stuff I've had, some of it I haven't. So I got some of this popcorn, the sweet popcorn. I got some hot Cheeto popcorn. I got some fries, my Dollar Tree. This is a Snickers ice cream. I'm gonna put in the freezer cause it's melting. More fries. And I got this m and ice cream sandwich. And then I got the Jimmy Dean's croissant and egg cheese. Another Jimmy Dean's croissant egg and cheese. I got a Hot Pocket. A pizza. This little frozen pasta. Something quick to just throw in the microwave on a busy day that I don't have to think too much about. And then this is one of the main reasons I left. Laxative. We are going to clean out. We are going to be on the shitter. XXL beef, no, bean and cheese burrito. Another ham and cheese hot pocket. Then I got some oregano and some paprika because I'm running out. Y'all, Dollar Tree be having some good shit. And then I got cleaning scrubbies because I am running low. 
I got this thing for the dishes. I've had one before, but I don't know what happened to it. I think this part broke off, but you fill this up with the soap and it's like an automatic little scrubber thing. I thought it was pretty handy. Windex and then some Spick and Span. And we're gonna try this Silk, Silkyance, I don't know how to say it, body wash. Enriched with natural oils with shea and cocoa butter. Ultra hydrating. Let me show you guys this up close because it was honestly giving. For $1.25, you bet your ass I'm gonna get it for $1.25. And then we got the toilet bowl cleaner. We got some Spick and Span Everyday Antibacterial. Two things of Ajax. Got toothbrush because uh, me and him were recently sick and you're supposed to really swap your toothbrushes out, I think like every month. But I try to do it as often as I can. But if I'm sick, then I make sure I try and get on it. Some more cold and flu. Um, some honey roasted peanuts. And then some face masks, some mermaid masks, some masks for men, and then some hibiscus flower and coconut under eye mask. Let me show you guys the mask. These were a dollar twenty-five. I thought they looked real cute. And then if you have a guy friend, if he has a beard, this is the mask that like won't cover the beard. Thought that was cute. And then we got these little cereal bags. I always see these, but to me, I'm trying to get into like, just having more snacks. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the Berry Kind, Captain Crunch. I just want more variety of snacks at home, so I'm less likely to go out and buy a bunch of snacks out. So it's 9 something in the morning. It is Thursday. I don't know the date because I don't have my phone in my hand. But I started my morning off crying. <laughs> I'm about to tell y'all because I don't want to journal right now. So I'm going to just journal to y'all. I'm crying because I feel overwhelmed. I'm having one of those freaking moments. And sorry, I have boogers because I just woke up. I haven't brushed my teeth or nothing. And I be digging in my nose sometimes. But anyways, I I felt overwhelmed, and I just started my period, and I wasn't supposed to start my period for nine more days, but whatever. So anyways, I'm I'm frustrated and crying because I feel overwhelmed. I have a lot of stuff to do with like YouTube and sponsorships with which is exciting but in the midst of trying to move it's overwhelming and then I have a project coming up that I have to do a lot of preparing and planning for with like due dates and then I move in a few days and I really wanted to like declutter my house before I move but the way my time has been set up, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm just going to have to declutter as I move, like as I pack my stuff. I really wanted to do it before, but I'm just going to have to do it as I go. But everything's just like, I get like this, like when even when things are happening good to me, when it all starts happening at the same time and people expect things of me by a certain day, it makes me nervous and overwhelmed. And then you sprinkle some period in there. Oh, girl. I got to punch a hole in the wall. <laughs> like, I'm trying to gather myself, but I'm about to film a wig video. Like, after I got from the Dollar Tree yesterday, if y'all noticed, my energy was, like, kind of low. It's because I started, like, getting fatigue and cramps out of nowhere. But I'm not thinking it's my period because, like I said, my period was supposed to come for another nine days. But, um, yeah, it came early, which is not an issue, but it's just, like not the best timing and it's just annoying you know because i already have enough going on with like personal life and family and business and nothing's necessarily wrong it's just you know how you get that like overwhelming feeling like your to-do list is long and it's all things you ask for but it's just like a lot of overwhelming shit all happening at one time and then the period like that was just the cherry on top like 
when I woke up and I seen what that was, I was like, you're kidding, right? Let me just go ahead and cry and let it out. So that's what I just did before I hopped on here because sometimes you just gotta let that shit out for real. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to film this video. Um, this will be my third wig in two days. I'm about to film this install and then I'm gonna do some light straightening up and then I'm gonna edit. And then hopefully this evening, I wanna focus on some self care. So I want to do like a face mask or I want to take a nice long shower and just really like focus on like a little pampering this evening because I freaking need it. And tomorrow's Friday and the next day Saturday. I want to work this weekend. What sucks is I'm trying not to work on my period, but I literally am going to be busy all next week and I'm in the midst of purchasing for my real estate business right now. So, sorry, I have a hiccup. So, it's like, even if I go to work and I'm not grinding super hard, I just let the money, like, flow to me, something's better than nothing is pretty much what I'm getting at. But I know I'm personally about to spend a lot of money, and then our business is about to spend a lot of money. So, it'd be smart for me to go, honestly, just to, like, offset that. But it just, I really don't want to work on my period. But like I said, I literally move next week. And it's just two days. Like Friday and Saturday, like I can do two days. Today is day one on my cycle, so it's not like crazy heavy. Um, and sometimes like the cycle helps you make more money. I just don't like put myself in that environment while my body's trying to cleanse. And I'm like shoving in alcohol and like around toxicity like if my body's trying to purge right? it's just like you're working against what your body's trying to do but I think I'm just gonna vibe out and go and just let it flow to me and whatever I get I'm gonna be thankful for it it's gonna add to my dreams right fuck it um if I feel too bad this weekend then I won't go I'm not gonna just force myself to go but if it's doable um even if it's not a big bag, if it's just something cute, you know what I'm saying? Cool, because I know me and my mom are going to be shopping. I have to start everything from scratch in my apartment. The only thing I'm taking is my mattress. So it's like all money counts right now, honestly. So we're probably still going to go hustle. We got our makeup appointments already set. So if nothing else, it'll be content, a little extra money in my pocket. Even if I don't go make thousands and thousands of dollars, I'm still thankful even if I make something, you know? But, um... Yeah, I just had to get that off real, real quick. I'm so glad y'all be here for me because it's starting to feel like y'all are like, <laughs> like I be having like visual diaries with y'all a little bit. Because I be, I just not realized it, but I be venting to y'all. Like even when I be dropping gems and I be like trying to give y'all like life lessons out of shit that I went through. It's still like a little diary. Like when I when I get on here and tell y'all like, oh, let me tell y'all what happened at work. This, 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 this. And then I give the advice at the end. Like that's still like a diary entry, like a visual diary type of thing. But I'm glad I have that because sometimes I like journaling, but sometimes I like this. Like this feels like I'm talking to myself, but I know I'm talking to y'all. So it, it's literally like a journal entry kind of. But like verbal and visual versus like scripting. You feel me? But, anyways, I'm about to install this wig. I think I said that like 15 times now. And then I'll come back to y'all. And then we'll we'll start by maybe some breakfast or something. I don't know. I got to get this wig on. And then we're going to start our morning. Okay. Alright, y'all. So, I got the wig installed. We're doing decent on time. I just took me a quick little rinse off. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm on my cycle, first of all, I take a lot of showers regardless. I just do. It's like, I don't wanna say therapy, but like it's very relaxing for me to rinse the day off, to get in there and just chill, relax. When I'm on my cycle, I will take like three, three four showers in one day. They might be like quick, but Am I the only one that does that? Because I, that's just my thing. Like, I feel better just now just getting out from rinsing off already. So I have a few things lined up over here for our little self-care moment. It's not going to be nothing too serious because it's 11.28 and I have that meeting at 12. Um, 
for the project I was telling you guys about. So it's not nothing gonna be too drawn out, strung out and drawn out. It's just gonna be real quick. First of all, we just got the shower, so let's get dressed. My get dressed is gonna be my comfy outfit because I'm in the house today. The only thing I might leave and do is go pick up this package, but to be honest, I might have him do that because I don't feel it like doing it. So we got our diaper. I got these bulk on Amazon. I'll update my Amazon store by the time this vlog comes out, so you should be able to check my link in the description and see these diapers. These fit way better than the ones I had from um, was it CVS or Target? I think it was CVS. They fit way better, way more comfortable than the other ones. Where do y'all get y'all's fucking diapers if you wear them? I, on the last vlog, a lot of y'all said y'all did, which I was honestly surprised about. And then we are going to do, before our face gets too dry, let's go ahead and start our face. So y'all have seen this before, our face serum. Let's get a focus. Y'all be asking what I'm using, so I'm letting you know. Just a few pumps of this. I just pat, 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 pat. I took away a little bit of my forehead with this wig, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind because I got a huge forehead. And next, we're going to go in with this. Now, y'all asked specifically, I showed this in one vlog, actually two vlogs ago, and I didn't realize, and I thought I showed y'all and did not even zoom in. So this is called Skin Cuticles Epidermal Repair Therapeutic Treatment for Compromised Skin. Um, I got this from a spa in Nashville. I'm going to try and let it focus so y'all can screenshot it. Y'all were asking what this is, and I swear by this. It was expensive, but it's the bomb. Y'all see it's almost gone. This is not sponsored. This is not like... Like, this shit is almost gone. It's the truth. I love it. Um, it was expensive, so I don't use a whole lot of it. And I feel like a little goes a long way. This is not my everyday use, but this is, like, we getting a little extra TLC right now, so... And then while we're doing this, let's go ahead and get our eye mask on so it can be soaking while we're doing this. This is literally from Dollar Tree. Um, hibiscus flower and coconut. Let's see what it's giving. Let me tell y'all, like I just know what I'm talking about. But what you need to do is go to Dollar Tree and go to like the self-care section where they have like the toothbrushes and face masks and all that. Get you some face masks, get you some foot masks, and get you some of these. They're $1.25. Pop them in the refrigerator and when they're cold, they help with hydration, moisturizing under the eye, which helps with inflammation. So if you have puffiness or dark circles, it's not going to make them go away instantly, but it'll relieve some of the puffiness and it feels so good. Now that we did that, um, let's put our hoodie on because it's kind of chilly in my house. The weather in Nashville has been up and down, but I'm having a cozy day. So I just, I just want to wear this hoodie. It feels really soft on the inside. We already put our deodorant on. We're gonna clip our hair back up and then, ding. Shout out to my mom for this clip. And now let's brush our teeth. So I've got some new toothbrushes. Um, these are soft, they're from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying this Humble Co. Black Charcoal Powder Toothpaste. Have y'all tried charcoal toothpaste? Do you feel like it makes a difference? Do you feel like it's hot? was tea because i honestly don't think i can tell a difference between the charcoal and the regular but i've only been using this for maybe like a week or so so maybe i need to give it more time before i notice the difference i'm so cozy in my hoodie and my diaper mm. i'm in pain but i'm cozy 
and now we've got our water flosser this i got from walmart um but i'm pretty sure they have them on amazon i just needed it that day so i got mine from walmart but if you guys are interested i can look for a good one or the same one on amazon and link it in my store because this has this is the real deal so you just Okay, we're done with that. Now we're gonna try this cotton candy lip scrub. I got this from a spa about a month and a half ago. Um, I got this and I got their lip balm. It smells so good. I've used it once, but I wanna use it right now because when you get lip filler, I don't know why, but it makes your lips peel kind of bad for the first few like days like maybe a week your lips will peel sugar coconut oil cocoa butter grapeseed oil Ooh, so if it gets in my mouth i can eat it it's natural mm. so i got a new tripod um like another one just to have i have three but um this one has like a, a small ring light attached to it. Yeah, you guys can tell the difference. That's a huge difference. And it goes different colors. How do y'all feel about it? I think it was on this one. But how do y'all feel about it? Okay. Now I'm going to rinse this off. And then y'all were also asking about my moisturizer that I moisturize my lips with. And it's the Cocoa Butter Lip Therapy with Jojoba Oil however you say that vitamin a vitamin e and this is literally from the beauty supply it's like a dollar 99 i think it's a pretty decent size and it feels so good it's one of my favorite lip balms um doesn't leave a white line let me get up close it just really gives and then I usually don't like using my good shit when I know I'm not going out the house. But today, like I said, it's a little extra. So we're going to use our dossier. Mm, smells so good. And then we're going to put on our foot mask. And I think I got this from, I want to say sephora or walmart i'm not sure which one it was and i really apologize i'm gonna start paying more attention to things like that but i want to say either sephora or walmart So we did our lip scrub, we got this going, we brushed our teeth. To be honest, these feel so good. I'm not gonna take them off just yet, but I will go ahead and moisturize the rest of my face and spray. Oh, we're feeling so good. Okay, and then a little rose water. Right, and to top it the fuck off, we're gonna just roll it out for a little bit. This has been in the refrigerator too. This has the same benefits as the ice popsicles you guys see me do a while back. I haven't done them in a long time. I still have them in the freezer. I just haven't used them in a long time. But this gives the same benefits as far as puffiness and uh, like massaging skin cells. And this was like. $2.99 at Ross. Oh my god. It's the fucking little things. It's the little things. It does not take a lot. I used to think it took a lot of money to have like self-care. I used to think that you had to be like your shopping sprees had to be super expensive and your maintenance dates had to be expensive and your products had to be expensive and 
your massages, like the appointments. Like I just thought self care was an expensive thing and it's not. All you have to do is give a fuck and get past, give a fuck enough to get past that little hump. The hump that's telling you not to do it, like that little lazy, like sad hump. Just get over that just a little bit. Like all this stuff is from Ross and Dollar Tree, which is why when I did my 20K giveaway, I literally went to Ross. Cause I wanted everyone to know you do not have to have a lot of money. It does not have to be expensive. It's all about intention. Like I woke up this morning and I cried. You know what I did? I filmed my hair video. I, I worked, filmed my video. I hopped in the shower. Now I'm giving myself a little TLC before my meeting at noon. And I feel refreshed now. And don't get me wrong, I'm still in pain. My, I'm still hurting. I'm on my cycle, you know? So I'm, I'm still in a lot of pain. But I feel much better than I did this morning. And after my meeting, I'm going to have some type of brunch. And then I'm going to edit and do the things i need to do on my list i'm even if i don't have to leave the house i'm just gonna get some things done and relax self-care cook for yourself moisturize your skin cleanse yourself do things that make you feel good self-care for you might be going on a hike it might be something chaotic i don't know whatever self-care is for you just make time for it self-care might be watching my video and cooking yourself something to eat like Whatever it is, make time for it, even throughout the chaos. before we edit I kind of want a spoon too y'all are probably like girl what the fuck are you eating I have kimchi salmon and rice corn black bean spinach and an egg that egg is a little bit runny which I don't like March 12th, it is 7.39 p.m. I know it's been a few days since I done, I done talked to y'all and I can explain myself, okay? Take it easy, take it easy. So we went to work Friday. It was a good ass night and everything was Gucci. And yeah, we had a bomb ass night. I did not work Saturday. I actually started moving. So the apartment is like packed up. I still have to get the couch. Oh shit. I still have to get the couch and then like my second bedroom, which is the spare bedroom, is full of things that I'm not keeping. Um, so I'm getting rid of that. Some of the stuff I'm giving away and I'm getting rid of most of it though. And my mom flew into town today. So yesterday I pretty much started moving shit and I was like, you know what? I wanted to go to work Saturday, but I was like, you know what? I just really need to reserve my energy for this move because I'm moving all week. Like I have so much to do. Um, since I'm basically starting from scratch, I'm getting all new decor, all new stuff, all new kitchen stuff. Like I just want all brand new stuff. So yeah, I picked my mom up around like five or like 450. We are making a list of like things that we need in each room so that we're not running around like chickens with our head cut off. 
we still have to make sure we're organized and maximize our time because she's only going to be here until Thursday. And then obviously we don't want to work the whole time. Like we're trying to kick it and vibe too. So yeah, I'm about to go back in there with her. We're about to finish making this list. And then Target closes at... Mama, you said cl Target closed at 10? Yeah. Okay, so Target closed at 10. I believe Walmart closes at either 10 or 11 but they're both not far at all so we're about to go in there hurry up make this list and then see what all we can get tonight before the store is closed it's kind of late but we really needed to eat and just kind of settle down she's been traveling all day i've been moving all night so it's like just now getting to it but we're gonna get it done and i'm gonna bring y'all with me um maybe not to every single store because that gets a little boring but i'm gonna bring y'all with me i know y'all told me to go shop at um at home where else did y'all say some people said at home some people said ross target has a lot of stuff to be honest and the decor i'm going for i feel like a lot of it is in target low-key so i think we're gonna try walmart to see what we can knock out there and then head to target and yeah i meant to bring y'all to work friday and we was gonna end the vlog there but left the camera was running late so it is what it is but Y'all gonna kick it with me, even if this is a long ass vlog. Go get your popcorn. Don't go nowhere, bitch. Cause this is gonna be a good one, okay? I know y'all wanna see the crib. I know y'all wanna see the crib. Cause y'all know my mama's gonna deck it out. Period. So anyways, let's go uh, finish this list and then let's get to it. She pretty it much- It ain't worth living the lie. It ain't worth making you cry. Mama, did you just tell me you don't wanna help me? This child, she one of these type people. Can you help me move? And then when you get to her house, she don't have nothing packed up. <laughs> no, mama, no, be for real. It ain't even nothing in here. Y'all, it ain't even nothing in my house no more. Go to your bedroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, the reason no, I didn't. Good. Let's go to the bedroom. The reason y'all, I didn't pack the bedroom up yet is because we're sleeping here for two more days. It ain't nothing in the closets pack. I don't have clothes. Y'all, she's, she right. Time. I don't have, look, it ain't nothing back there but hangers. <laughs> it ain't nothing in here. These are cute. You like those? You probably don't though, do you? I do, I just never worn them. I don't know why. They're giving. I'm about to wear them. What's a Jodeci song? Jodeci? Tell me. Oh my life. <laughs> but when it was my they cute though. Nah, you trying to roast me. Jodeci boots was the shit back then. They the shit now. Y'all, are these boots cute? They are cute. Combat boots. Maybe I wore them once. They was cute when I was in high school. Combat boots are cute. They was the thing when I was in high school. Oh, you remember those little flower ones you had? Yes. I really like those. That little era, I was dressing. That little moment, I was dressing. Y'all, we finna go to Target. And then we're gonna pack up all this stuff. Oh, we're gonna take the stuff to the new oh, house. Okay, yeah. Well, we can, since that's right there and that's right there, we can get this. Talk about the stores. Is that a real $100 bill? <laughs> no, it's a $2 bill. Oh, what? <laughs> Mama, wait, y'all. <laughs> wait. Mama. Because why is it just right there? No. <laughs> You just have them just laying right there. It's a two dollar bill. I make sure I don't lose it because it was in the bathroom of my little thing, but I'm not bringing that over there. Which I need a holder for that too. Okay, we'll see y'all at Target. Is this a pizza rack or a cutting board or what is that? Serving board. Okay. I like these, but that's not with what the That's not what it is. That's not the vibe. This is. Yeah, and these are cute. too. Mm -hmm. oh, those bowls down there are cute too. But they $25 a pop. 50 bucks.
for the kitchen. I like it. And they got these ottoman things right here. Yeah, I know. I see them. Look at this. Like that. Wait and see how tall the couch is, though. Listen, because see, you don't want the ottoman to be. Couch can't be. And maybe like one of those with it. How much is this plant? Because we needed one more plant anyway. Nope, they can please go to hell. Where do y'all get y'all's greenery and fake plants? Because we're in Target and this plant is $130 and I'm not doing it. $150. Uh, no, ma'am. I like these too. Oh, ooh. Grab the basket. Look at this. That's not even no food. Them is hard. I like them. Let's grab one and see. Do that either. Yeah. Cause remember we got stuff for the bedroom and the living room. We can separate it and play with it. True. Cause to me all of that though is a look. It most definitely is. That's a look. Like that's a piece. Instead of what I wouldn't switch, I wouldn't switch nothing out for that, cause that combo is already too cold mm -hmm. by itself. She just put this together. That's without this white though, right? Without the white, it would just be this. I like that. You have to say something. Um, you look like you was about to say something. Feels good. It, it's just, I think I would prefer. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing in Target right now? Listen. We're not supposed to do that in Target. I'm acting very Walmart. <laughs> Oh, do it, wait, do it again. Do it again. <laughs> y'all know we're doing TikTok doing? dances. Cause she said, what is that? What y'all be doing? <laughs> you gotta shake, you gotta, yeah, shake, shake, and that's it, that's it. So silly. <laughs>
Good morning, you guys. So it's the next day. It's like 10.30 or 10.40. We about to get after it. We got some more shopping to do, things we didn't get done yesterday. We're going to Walmart today, which that's going to be super quick. And then we're going to at home, which that'll be the fun part. Walmart is still going to be fun, but at home is where we're getting uh, like our actual decor pieces. Excuse me. But that's where we're actually getting our like legit decor. So it's going to be more fun at, at home. Um, just real quick real quick y'all it was brought to my attention over the last like two or three days that there's like y'all know those little spam pages that make their name just like my name and they message you and say hey you want a surprise message me on telegram or something like that um that is i'm not affiliated with any giveaways that i don't announce either on a live or on a video so if you do not hear hear it directly out my mouth about a giveaway Please do not fall for it. I'm not associate. I don't even know what Telegram is, but I don't know if YouTube has like a customer service or if like, I don't know. I'm in the process of moving, so I really can't even address it fully right now as far as trying to figure out what that is and whatever it is, they have me blocked. So I can't even see it, but I see where it says one comment, but I can't see the comment because they have me blocked. But I'm here to say if I do a giveaway, you guys will know about it well in advance. You will either, like I said, it'll either be announced on a live video because I go live like weekly. It'll either be on a live or it will be on a weekly vlog where a vlog like this where I'm like, hey, y'all, I'm doing a giveaway. You know, don't if it's in the comments, it ain't me. OK, but we just organized our list um, to get the day started. And yeah, we in traffic with it. OK, let me have a real moment with y'all. I almost forgot. So yesterday when I was out shopping, I was hot, okay? I had been moving for a day or two and I usually take my showers in the evening. So I looked up and it was like 11 o'clock and I was tired, I was hot, I was sweaty, I smelled like sweat and today we not playing that, okay? So I want to give a huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I kid you not, you can ask my mom, yesterday in Target around like 10 p.m., I busted out my dossier and sprayed it all over my body in the middle of the target because I was just like, I can't take it no more. And dossier saved the day once again, okay? So dossier, for those of you that don't know, they are a luxury fragrance brand. They offer a wide variety of like men, women, unisex fragrances. Um, this particular scent, let's see. This is Fruity Jasmine. It's inspired by Dior. Um, yeah, so you're gonna get this. That'll let you know exactly what inspired your fragrance, all that good stuff. And then it comes in this cute little packaging. Iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. So their whole thing is they are making luxury fragrances for a fraction of the cost. You do not have to go buy some $100, $200, $300 perfume. If y'all know me, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I've had um, black opium before and they have fragrances expired by black opium as well i don't i'm not spending my money on that okay we saved our coin this year but we still gonna smell like that girl period so this is fruity jasmine and also if you order from them and you get something that you don't like you can simply just send it back and get something else like their customer service is amazing mm, this smells good there i'm spraying this everywhere their customer service is amazing so if you get something that you don't like just send it back all these fragrances are $39. They also have a candle line, which if you guys are new here, I am obsessed with candles. So I recently started working with them on their candle line as well. Magnificent. My apartment is kind of big. If I light that candle within five minutes, my entire apartment smells like that candle. I can't even burn it as long as I want to. I have to blow it out because it's that strong. They last me a very long time. And I'm one of the people that I like to leave my candles burning for like 10 hours, I can't with them because it's, it's that strong. I don't need to. So the scent for today is Fruity Jasmine. So when we shop it today, that's what I'm giving Fruity Jasmine. Oh, you smell good. What is that? Dossier, period. But no, yeah, they also have like um, 
bulk discounts where if you order more than one they give you a discount off at checkout so yeah save your coin and still smell right okay anyways now we ready now we ready to get out in the streets thank you again dossier for sponsoring today's video I'll braid it. You want to? Mm -hmm. It's nappy. I'll braid it. Okay. Y'all, so let me. I was debating telling y'all about the couch because I was so freaking pissed. If you know what movie that's off of, she was doing like this. <laughs> no, because I was really finna cry, Mama. I know. Okay, so let me tell y'all what happened and then I'm gonna show y'all and y'all tell me what y'all think because she low key gets it. I say hell no. Nah. So I'm gonna just show y'all. No, I get it. No, but you low key think that it don't look that gray. Like it does look gray. You see it now that it's light. Okay, I'm gonna still show y'all. Okay, so we ordered the couch and bed from Rooms to Go, and and that's a key. It was ordered online. On, yes, online. So they deliver the the bed and the couch, and as y'all saw like a few clips ago, like we was kiki keying. They unboxed it, and when they unboxed it, I'm like, I'm just looking around like, cause. Like. <laughs> Cause I get, I get, I've just been so excited about this apartment and it's somewhat kind of like my dream apartment and I know exactly how I want it in my head. So I'm gonna give me a French braid cause I want to wear a French braid in my hat. So anyway, they unboxing the, um, the thing, the couch and it's gray. And like the whole theme of the house is like, like cozy, like, Bohemian, Bohemian is what we were going tones, for. Earth tones, natural tones. Like, I want my apartment to look like a caramel macchiato. Like, that's literally, I want tanned whites, creams, off-whites. Like, 
brown do you know what i mean like i want wooden things i want it to get cozy bohemian literally so when he unboxed this gray couch now mind y'all if if y'all been here for a minute y'all know the last two apartments like the hat the one <laughs> though there's another one down there too once you get to the bottom the one i had in okay see which now that i don't live there no more i'll tell y'all i don't care my apartment name in okay see was the edge and it was really affordable and it was luxury did you break the other one the, the and then the last apartment I lived at, which now that I don't live there, I'll tell you the name of that too. It was Cortland West, Cortland West, Nashville. So both of those apartments, I had like the gray, black, silver, diamond aesthetic, like Lux Glam diamond aesthetic, and it was cute. But I'm over that now. I want peace and tranquil. Is what's is that the word? Tranquility. Tranquility. Y'all know your girl don't really be in her vocabulary bag like that, but. That's what I want to give, like, cozy bohemian vibes. Okay, so anyway, rooms to go. When they drop it off, I'm looking around like, hell, like, no, no. My mama like, is that gray? And I'm like, yes, it is. Like, yes, this is a gray couch. Like, where's the brown couch? This is not right. So then the dude, he's, at this point, they've halfway unpacked it. And I'm, he's like, well, we can either take it with us or we can leave the couch here. And y'all can, girl, it's, it's too nappy. Hold on, don't, don't, don't freak that. out. Okay. So he's like, I can leave the couch here and y'all can just test it out for a week or two and then you can take it back to room to go. I'll put some notes in the account and let them know that you ordered brown and they delivered platinum and it's the wrong couch. And basically, like, you can test it out and if you decide you want to keep it, you can keep it. If not, you can just go pick out a new couch. They'll deliver the new one and bring the old one back. You can wait it too if you need to. And bring the old one back so i'm i'm like now i'm getting irritated because i feel like he's trying to run game but like i really don't have proof i don't work at rooms to go i don't know what the, what they got going on so so anyways they we was like okay if if we we gonna leave the couch here we'll go up there just drive up there pick out a new one and then you know we just go from there so we get up there and we're like, hey, we had a couch delivered today. It's the wrong one. We're here to pick out a new one. She's like, we don't have a return policy. So the delivery drivers, <laughs> they just. You don't have a what? <sighs> and then she explains to us that the delivery drivers are a third party company. So they were just talking out the side of their neck so they could get the delivery done. So then my mom was like, well, they probably got paid for it. That's why they wanted to leave it, whatever, which here's the thing. I know everybody's selling stuff to everybody out here hustling. I get that. But where I have a problem is he literally lied and said you could test it for two weeks. Do I look like boo-boo the fool? Two weeks? Are you crazy? By that time, it's going to have a dent for me sitting in it. You know, I got this dump truck. I can't sit on it for two weeks. So anyway, so she basically said, like, we can try and talk to our manager to override it. But they may or may not. I don't want to get your hopes up. They may or may not let you do it. So I called them this morning. We're waiting on a manager to call us back. We don't know how that's going to go. If if it doesn't go right, I'm just going to have to either sell the couch or give it away and go actually buy the couch I want, which I really don't want to do because that means I'll be out of $1,500, literally. So hopefully they let us swap it out. I'm not going to tell you all exactly what color I'm getting because I'm going to do a walkthrough, like, fully furnished tour for you all. At the end of this vlog, that's what this is. Obviously, y'all can tell from the title. So I'm not gonna tell you right now. I'm not gonna spoil it. For one, because I don't want to spoil it. For two, because I don't know if I'm gonna have a gray couch or a brown couch or um, or what color couch I'm gonna have. You'll get the couch you want. You just like you say, you just may have to donate this one. Donate it to a women's shelter. If if they don't cooperate today, donate it to a women's shelter. I wonder if there's one on that piece of paper that they said. Maybe. So a women's shelter. Have y'all shopped at Rooms to Go or like where do y'all get big furniture from because I'm over it. Obviously by the time y'all see this vlog I'll pick the furniture out but just so I can know in the future, especially if you're in Nashville tell me, but even if you're not in Nashville tell me some really good stores with good policies. I don't plan on moving for a while but maybe in eight, nine months I may want to switch my decor again. I don't know but one thing I do know is after this next transaction I'm not dealing with Rooms to Go no more. Cause they play companies it. that don't have a return policy that's not customer service i don't care because i mean every everybody has a din ding section why would you not have a return policy and then you allow people to shop online but you don't have no, no return, return, return policy. policy so y'all know how stuff look online and then you get it and it's the color slightly different it don't look like the shade 
the color looks completely different than what it did it online. Does. The color online looked like that decoration right there to me. That's what I thought was finna get The here. color online looked like sand. Lighter. And when they started unwrapping, I'm like... I was trying to say nothing. because I, I was too, because I, but I was just like, okay, this look great. Because I just don't like when people just lie. Just say, like, we really don't want to take it back because it's going to mess up the, our deliveries for the rest of the day. But y'all can call them while we're here. Let's call them and see what they say. Because then when we get up there, they're like, we don't, we don't even, even have, have a return, return policy. policy. And she was basically like, you coming in the day of delivery is the only you. way you might be you able to do it. couldn't have waited two weeks and even... She actually said two weeks is dead. Yeah. Like, if we would actually listen to what the delivery man said. And what's crazy is I was supposed to give him my old TV, but some, for some reason I just didn't. I think it's because I was so stressed about the couch. But what if I would have gave him my old TV for free? And then I would have really... I would have tracked that man down and hit him on top of his head. You watching this? You got me... Uh, rooms to go, oh, rooms to go. They got us. Ain't that how they do it in church? Yeah. With the little, what they call that instrument? The tambourine. The little shaky one. They used to eat that up. But yeah, that's the tea. And I'm, we have a few more errands to run, but I promise y'all are going to see the house fully furnished. Y'all going to catch the vibes. And then y'all going to see us cook our first meal in the house. We're trying to have like a, a self-care day tomorrow. We're trying to get everything finished today. I still need a desk because I want like a little mini office set up. Like not office, but like a little mini station where I can film like, um, like my money counts and like edit and just answer emails like just a mini office space in the bedroom on the corner that I can kind of move as needed and then there's just a few loose ends we have to tie in with the house but it's really almost done but that couch no all I'm saying is if you're if you have customers shopping online you have to have some kind of return policy exchange policy maybe not return no but you have to have some kind of Maybe if it's bought in store, I could see that. But if people are buying online, you literally can't see you it because it looked completely different when it got here. Do it, baby, do it, baby, do it, baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I see what you did there. It was too much to put. That's why I did. That's why I was about to be like, oh, I just put Ooh, it in the What's the density? <laughs> On this one. What's the density? What's the density? 250. 250. Ow! Sorry. Oh. You okay. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. Do it, baby. Alright. Oh, I, like I know this is gonna be great. Do y'all be thinking y'all eat when y'all do a photo shoot like this? I'm here to say, y'all look stupid as this does not eat. You left crumbs. This, it just, it doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. Don't be like that more. Okay, I take it back. Bye. Look at how I almost fit, y'all. Don't do that. Look at I, I don't like it. My shirt's not long enough. It's something. Look like at it. the brunch fit. She don't like it, but I think she looks I cute. No, I don't at all. We're finna go get brunch, and my mama's finna go shopping, thrifting. No, it ain't right. I, I like thrifting is so therapeutic for me. We're taking a few shots. We're gonna go get brunch. This is my last day here. This was very. I I, I liked the experience though, because I have challenged my design skills i still have a lot to learn oh you do good don't but look like pretty. that yeah you like do good it. yeah i'm just talking about like the yeah the organization of it all it's the little bullshit we're gonna get there but i know what i'll be liking to i know what i like to put together i just have to work on orchestrating 
ordering things the time the time time yeah. Lines. yeah so the couch oh i didn't update y'all so we went to rooms to go they let us switch out the couch yay it was t i ain't gonna say how much it was too it's it's much more money but it's okay because it's exactly what i the want the couch is so nice the couch is nice i'm gonna show them the original couch so they can see the difference oh i can show y'all the original couch yeah. right now this is the one that they delivered that we thought was a cream Tan. color we thought it online it looked Tan. And tell me what y'all think. It's if this, gray. If this couch is tan or gray. It's not. This yeah. is the one that's going back. I'm not going to show you the original one until it gets delivered. Today is, what's today? Tuesday? What's Thursday. today? Thursday. And the couch will be here on Wednesday. So I'm not going to show you guys the final couch until the walkthrough, the official walkthrough tour of the apartment. But the couch she's going to show you, we thought it was, it was tan online. Tell me what y'all think. Does that look tan? Put it in the light over there. Just to I'm get, trying not just to show to that. Oh, 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 got you. I don't want to show the decorations okay. yet. Does this look tan or gray? And they blame it on the light, the lighting, but... Does that look tan, like brown tannish, or does that look gray? Let it's me know. Gray. Anyways, it's literally gray. So... So this is the last day. This is the last day, so we're gonna. We still got like some work to do, but it's not strenuous work to do. It's we can trash out, we can kind of chill, you Put know, some stuff up, hang some stuff up. But Nashville, let me tell y'all something about Nashville. If you want a change of scenery, and I know what people, I know what I thought about Nashville when Morgan first told me, I was like, she thought it was no. Nashville is beautiful. She thought it was honky tonk country. <laughs> Nashville is beautiful. People are friendly. <clears throat> it it it's beautiful. Nashville is beautiful. Mountains, city life, whatever you kind of into the the mountains, the like the city life. It's it'll give you everything. Depending on what you're looking for, Nashville is really nice, y'all. I didn't know it until I came here. But we're taking this last shot and we have a business meeting tonight. So we're going to dinner. I want to take her to Morton's because she's never been to Morton's and y'all already know how much I love Morton's. Never been to Morton's. So that's probably where we'll go. Probably make some reservations and we have a business meeting. But other than that, we're going to tie the loose into the house. I'm going to show y'all. I'm actually going to do like a mini. Y'all going to be like. I'm going to do like a <laughs> mini makeover with my mom. Um, she's yeah, gonna I be. Get, I need to get out this. Don't Ooh. take Don't. that out. <laughs> Why would she say that? Take that out for real. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Wait, look. No, I'm not taking it out. This so, is what I meant. No. Okay. I didn't mean that. Cause what did you mean? <laughs> okay, no, for real though. I'm. So let me tell y'all something. I really didn't because I have lots of hair like this, blonde. Dark. You look cute in there. I hair. have lots of hair like this, but I am in somewhat of a rut. And so I want something rut. different. So I have a very funny, dark sense of humor. Yeah, don't pay her no mind. She did that was not her being offensive. Okay, so listen. We doing a <laughs> I'm taking no, that out. Okay. They don't need to know that. Okay. It's none of their business. But I'm just saying I do feel like I need a, a little She's, she's been, you know how it is when you want to switch up your hair or your nails or like just a little self care, something y'all know. Cause I just went and got filler and I was trying to explain this to y'all. Like you just need a little change of appearance. So a little bump. That's what I feel like. Not I one need. of them bumps. You damn crackheads. Not one of them bumps. Okay. But we going to do, I had a sponsorship we coming up with, um, with Eunice, Eunice hair. So it's like. I don't want to spoil it, but I'm finna give my mom that bust down, honestly. So make sure y'all go check that out. I'll make sure I show y'all what it looks like. A little preview when we get done doing her hair, because we're actually doing it tonight. I think I may or may not wait to do mine till tomorrow. I'm looking like a chicken head right now, but it's cool. Um, but I'm gonna give my mom a straight before she leave, and I know she really gonna like this wig. It's glueless. It's black. It's it's just you know you know the bust down just gives so. We about to take our last shot. It is a little hot, huh? Or is it the Leka? It's the Leka. The Leka. Y'all, I'm just looking at the view, y'all. It's. I'm, I'm going home tomorrow. I know. I know. But we Let's did a good a job. Shot. We did a good job, though. Let's take a shot. One thing about me and Morgan, we, we gonna, gonna work. We gonna work. Like, 
we been working. We're going to first, what is it? First watch. I have to look on my phone. It's my cushion is sweaty. You gonna take that out? I don't know. It's hot. These little tights. Put deodorant on your thighs. How many times are you gonna tell me that? Do you do it? Sometimes. Did you do it this morning? You know I didn't. And then I'm on the I'm on the fence about that as I get older and no more. Because it can throw you off a little bit. No, just I probably need to get into some natural deodorant. Put, anyway, but deodorant in your thighs will keep you from sweating. Okay. Deodorant on the outside of your panties will keep you from sweating. <laughs> I read that in the Oprah the magazine. Panties. You can't say the word panties on YouTube? Yes, you can, but you know how I feel about panties. I read this in an Oprah magazine many, 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 many years ago that if you put deodorant on the outside of your panties. Do y'all do that? Do y'all put deodorant on the outside of y'all's panties or in y'all's thighs? Because I am a big, healthy girl and I be sweating. And, it, and I tried it because I sweat too. It seemed like the odor I got, I didn't sweat as, I don't sweat as much. But if you put deodorant on the outside of your panties or on like your inner thigh, because I wear a tight keeps you from pain. Gets, It keeps you from sweating. I just get sweaty. Just and like people put deodorant underneath their... Boobs. Boobs is the same idea. I be sweating. And I kind of feel like if my body is trying to get rid of something, I then need Then maybe to you it. need to let it sweat. Yeah, I, that's why I don't be trying to... The preventatives, True. I don't... That feels a little crazy to True. try and stop it from detoxing. Well, just change your panties every hour. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> not, not say that. Stop saying panties. Change your underwear every hour. Pack okay. some with you in a little side pocket. What's the toast? To Nashville, a very nice apartment. We got a lot of work done. We were very um, determined to get this stuff done. It's, it was a few hiccups like this couch, but... Um, get her done. Get her done. Sometimes you just gotta get, get her, her done. Get her done! We can't take them like this one until after we eat. Y'all, I don't drink like this no more. Yeah, say no more. No more. <laughs> Try to be modest. motherfucking vibe okay so long-awaited fully furnished tour 
So let me tell you guys, y'all already know the drama with the couch, whoopty bam. So it's a few days later, obviously. Um, me and my mom went to Morton's. I took her to the airport. My camera was gonna die, so I did not get footage of Morton's, but she really enjoyed it. It was her first time having Morton's and they do it every time, regardless. If you have a Morton's in your city, let me know what you ordered from Morton's because I want to try some new shit. I'm stuck on the crab cakes and the fried shrimp and the Caesar salad. I haven't got anything else besides the truffle fries and the meatballs, but I haven't got any more like entrees. So if you have Morton's in your city and you go to Morton's, let me know what you get. Cause y'all already know I love to try different things, but my mom loved it. But then she had a flight to catch the next morning around like nine ish, nine or 10. She had to be at the airport at nine or 10. So I took her to the airport and she landed safely back to OKC. So as far as the home y'all, let's get into the motherfucking vibes, okay? So first of all, I just like to say, I feel like I want an Oscar right now. I just want to say that I'm so proud of myself and I don't know, I could say a lot, honestly, but I'ma just keep it cute. Like I'm very proud of myself. I'm so comfortable here. I'm adjusting to like living downtown. This is not midtown. This is not surrounding areas. This is downtown. I'm adjusting to that, but I'm just so proud of myself for making this happen. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but when I first moved to Nashville, I was fresh out of surgery. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, I moved to Nashville with my account in negative. How? I don't know. I just did. When I first moved to Nashville, I had, and I'm gonna get personal, I'm gonna let y'all know because I'm gonna give y'all the real. I had just enough money to Uber to work and pay for my hotel for a week. So I told myself um, in that week, I'm gonna make it happen. And that's what I did. I moved here and my account was to be exact, negative $34. And there's been times in my life where I've been up, up, up. And there's been times where I've been down. And when I moved here, um, I was fresh out of surgery. I had just gotten sick. I had blew my money because I still had bills to pay when I wasn't working for five months. And I don't know, I was just chilling, kicking it, helping people out, doing all, helping friends, helping family, helping Negroes. Like I was just doing the most. And when I moved here, like right before I moved here, I literally went broke which is crazy, but it's true. Like I moved here with negative $34 in my account. And I told myself like, I'm about to stop at the drive-thru, get some food. I'm about to pay for this hotel for a week. And I had already been hired here. I had already been working here for a few months. So I was like, I'm just going to make it happen. Like that's it. And I moved here. And so this, this move is like a lot to me. Like when I first moved here, I didn't see my apartment. I signed the lease from Oklahoma online. Like I didn't, I, did, I just had to do what I had to do. So this is the first apartment where I actually toured a few different apartments and I decided like this is the one for me. So round of applause. If you are in a situation right now where you feel like you are at an all time low, you're embarrassed, you feel like you can't tell anyone cause you shouldn't even be in that position for whatever reason, just know that if you want to get out of it, you can. You do, not, you do not have to strip to get out of it if you want to, cool. But just know that if right now you are watching this and you feel like you're at an all time low or you're going through some things where you feel like, how the fuck am I gonna get out of this? Get you a plan together and just know that you are going to get out of it, period, that's it. So this move is like kind of emotional for me and I'm just so happy and proud of myself and I don't wanna do too much, but I'm just so proud of myself. Like nobody really knows like, what people go through, especially people online. Like we show y'all what we show y'all. Like sometimes we may be going through things that you would have no idea if we didn't tell you because we have a way of getting through it and carrying ourselves with grace to where you may not know, but shit could be ugly, you know what I mean? And that's why when I first moved here, I wasn't really focusing on YouTube. I was at work working four or five days a week. Like I was, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get out of a situation, but I still have faith because I knew that I felt guided to Nashville. This is not something I just like pulled out of my ass and like I, I genuinely felt guided here. Um, I've been to multiple clubs. I've been, I've traveled a lot and I really felt guided here. I don't know if this is a permanent move. I don't know if this is a temporary move, but I know this is where I'm supposed to be right now in this chapter in my life. So there's that. I don't know. Like I said, I could say a lot, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, let's get into this apartment tour. So just to give you guys a little background, uh, I do own a short-term rental business for those of you that are new here. You may not know, but I do own a short-term rental business. So I do like Verbo, Airbnb, um, 
different platforms like that for traveling business professionals and people just in general who are traveling and need somewhere to stay. Um, I'll leave my website in the description box below. It's called MPH Luxury Stay. So yeah, and we're branching out to interior design and like rehabbing homes and all kinds of good stuff. So my life right now is nothing like it was when I first moved here, but I'm super excited. Um, with that being said, my mom is actually the interior designer for the company and she's also one of the managers of the company. So my mom helps me out a lot. So when I moved here, um, I told her, you know, when I get my new apartment, you have to deck it out for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to do your thing. She's like, you know, I got you. So my mom flew down here, as you guys seen, for a week and she completely designed my apartment. I told her I want a mix between cozy, modern, and bohemian. That's what I told her and I feel like she achieved it to a T. Like she completely did exactly what I needed her to do. So I'll go ahead and give y'all a little walkthrough. So as far as when you first walk in, we have the kitchen. Super nice, stainless steel, everything. Um, I ordered, most of the things you see are from Amazon, like this seasoning cabinet, Amazon, my utensils, Amazon. Knives were a gift. I don't know where he got those from, but they went with the steam. I wanted white, brown, wooden, and greenery. Like I, I like I said, I wanted my apartment to look like a caramel macchiato, so that's what it is. So yeah, I really like the kitchen, stainless steel, everything's super nice. And then over here we have our pantry. Little laundry area. Everything's super cute. I decided to do bar stools as a nice little touch even though i really probably won't eat there much i've eaten there once but i feel like it's just a nice touch if i have some company and i don't really want to eat on the couch or the bed that's an option for them to eat as far as the dining area so this is like dining area slash living room most of these pieces that you see as far as art were from at home like this white piece right here with this pimp pempe pompe however you say it um, the plant is from Amazon and then this piece right here was from at home. I wanted something kind of like dramatic and eye-catching for this space because I did not want to do a dining room table or anything like that. I kind of wanted to keep the feel of the open floor plan and then the piece above it right here is also from at home and I thought it could add a little sense of texture and artsy to it. So my last two apartments I had all uh, pictures as far as like portraits and things like that. I didn't really have much texture in my last two apartments. So I really wanted to focus on art and texture and abstract versus like portraits, you know what I mean? And then here we have the living room. This is where we had a little hiccup with the couch. At first it was gray, but I switched it out for this beautiful white couch, super cozy, super comfortable. Um, the pillows, Target the throw rugs or throw blankets sorry the throw blankets target and then this middle piece my mom put together with different things from target like this gold this tan this brown all of that is from target the rug is from walmart nice cute little touch and then all the greenery was from my last apartment which i really believe i got from either marshall's or ross i carry that over with me from my last two apartments from okc greenery is just super expensive and i just didn't have time like I just really didn't have time. So I just kept my greenery. Um, I did get a new TV from Walmart. And if you see the TV has like a nice little glow behind it. Um, I ordered the LED lights off of Amazon and just taped them to the back of the TV to give a nice cozy glow. Now let's get into the bedroom. So here we have the bedroom. I did the lights behind the TV again. I wanted to have like a hotel like vacation vibe. So I did the all white luxury sheets with the white king size comforter. I did do a queen size bed because I did not want to go buy a new bed. Eventually I may upgrade, but for now this is good for me. Um, and then we've got the mirror, some greenery so that I, when I'm getting dressed, I can take a look at myself, you know what I mean? Um, my living room and my bedroom have poor lighting. So I thought it was important to put like a little bit of a glow touch, which is why I did the LED. I did have white behind there and it didn't give the cozy vibe. My mom was like, no, get soft white. So I simply sent those back and ordered the soft white and they are perfect. Um, but yeah, all white sheets, all white bedding to give that fresh like hotel Airbnb vibe, except for we never got to check out. We ain't never got to check out. This is it. This is us. And then as far as the pieces in the bedroom, 
So we didn't want to do too much art in here just because I wanted the bedroom to be more simple. Um, not too much going on. I did do the closet like clothing rack just to give the minimalist touch. Um, that is something I wanted to focus on. So I have a few pieces on here that are things that I wear quite often but also give a good touch for decoration. I may swap them out here and there, swap the pieces out. But for now, this is what I have on there. Um, and then this nightstand actually is something my mom put together at, at home. So this bottom piece did not come with this top piece. They were separate and she was like, this looks cute as a nightstand, it's different. No one else will have a nightstand like you because this is not even a nightstand for real. And I was like, you know what? That's why I'm with you. So that's what we did with the nightstand. And yeah, the headboard is from Rooms To Go, which is also where I got the couch in the living room. Um, I'm not gonna link Rooms To Go I'm not gonna link the stuff that I got from Roots to Go because I didn't like their policies. I hate to say it, I love my furniture, but I did not like their policies. I did not like how they did business. So I'm not gonna link the exact links to the couch in the bed because no, go get somebody else to do it. Let's get to the bathroom. So the bathroom's a place where I didn't want it to be too crowded, but I did want a little touch. So you come in here, we have the the perfume holder which i believe we got off amazon and i put my dossier thank you guys dossier for sponsoring this video but i put dossier and then a few of my body sprays on there and then a few rose petals behind it just to give a nice little touch i got some fresh flowers in here just to have something that i like to look at you know you come in the bathroom you got your fresh roses you got your perfume it's giving self-care cozy vibes and that's what we was going for it I ordered this little wooden um, bathroom set off Amazon too. Anything that I say or that you see on here that you like, check my Amazon store. I will list it in the description box below and I'll make sure it's updated because I got a lot of things from Amazon. I will not lie to you. Amazon came through clutch. Like same day delivery, next day delivery, it was super clutch. Um, the trash can came from Amazon as well for the bathroom. And then these acrylic shelves in the shower. So these came from Amazon. I kind of separated them to my liking body wash, face scrub, body scrub, uh, shampoo and conditioner. We got that cute set up. So my old house had black uh, shower shelves, but I wanted to keep everything neutral tone. So like whites, tans, browns, wooden, or acrylic, which is clear. So I was like, you know what? Out with the old, in with the new, let's order the acrylic. And it worked out. I think it looks great. I brought the eucalyptus over from my old apartment because it was fairly new, so I didn't want to order new eucalyptus, but I got that eucalyptus from Trader Joe's. And yeah, that's the bathroom. And then these pieces here on the wall are for, from at home as well. Um, everything you see hanging up in this house is from at home. I didn't want to put a dresser in my bedroom because I wanted more of the, I wanted to really take advantage of the open space. So I didn't want to just clutter it up with everything. I wanted to go for like cozy slash minimalist, you know? So that's why I didn't want to go with a dresser like I did in my last house. I want everything to be open and free. So the closet's a little compact, but like I said, this is after decluttering and this is the best I could do. Y'all, I might declutter again around spring as like spring cleaning, but this is the best we could do. But yeah, that is it for the tour. Like. How do y'all feel about the apartment? I absolutely love it. Huge shout out to my mom for coming out here, flying out here and decking my place out. I literally couldn't have done it without her. We had a few hiccups, but we're still learning and overall everything turned out amazing. I'm super excited to give y'all the new fresh apartment vibe type content. Um, as y'all know, I am an entertainer, but I've been getting into like chill nights at home type of content. Um, let me know if you guys enjoy that type of stuff. And if you do, let me know what videos you want down below. And I'll make sure I make that happen for you. But other than that, that is it. That is the apartment tour. I hope you guys liked it. And yeah, I'm going to get ready to go to work. So that's it for me. I really want to stay home and lay on my couch. But I'm going to get my ass up. I'm going to take a shot and I'm going to go to work. That's it. That's all. But thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next video.